G'day, g'day, and welcome back to Koh Panyang. Oh, today, I just want to go check out some waterfalls. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of good stuff along the way. Stick with me. All right, Big Blue, you ready? Looking good, let's roll. Actually, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty hungry. It is morning time here, I need some breakfast. So that is first point of call. Yummy, let's roll. Not a bad start for the day. A viewpoint and a waterfall. And a little bit of a hike because we're going to 627 meters above sea level. <sighs> okay, get those legs working. Ooh. Okay, I've just been advised that there's not much water, which is probably a good thing because it's still gonna be super beautiful. And maybe less people. Always good. What a beautiful spot, and listen to those cicadas just going absolutely off. Already totally worth it. Ooh, okay, so it's not a waterfall. It's sort of like a weir, really, more than anything. And it's definitely not running, but oh, it's so lovely just to be sitting out here. And like I said, no other people. It's a nice place for me to circle my footsies. Not quite time for a swim yet. I think time to go check out that uh, viewpoint. Let's see what we can see from up there. Get a load of all of these guys. Little stingless bees. Although I hope they're stingless because they're not super happy that I'm just right here. It's so cute. <laughs> if you find bees cute, you'll get what I mean. Ooh. Except for the very clear man-made path. Oh, and cabins right there. <laughs> this is the proper jungle. Ooh. You can tell by the sweat on my face, but it looks like I've just found some abandoned cabins. So let's have a break. Yeah, well that's not super useful anymore. This one up here isn't in much better shape either. Jeez, how long? How long have these been abandoned? These were steps that used to go up to it. So however long that takes to grow over, but yeah, there ain't no getting up in there. Super basic, just a little room with a toilet out the back. Same with that, but the jungle is just taking over here again. All right, in like three minutes, more walk up the path have another abandoned, fully overgrown old accommodations. Oh, it's a whole toilet block. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Maybe like a yoga, a yoga retreat or something. That's kind of what it looks like. In there, but the floor is like fully collapsed. There is no way I'm getting in there. I feel like it was never even used. It was built and never used, it was never finished. <laughs> Crazy. Not super useful anymore. I don't want to walk too much on this floor, otherwise I'm going to go through. But for sure it's got to do with the fact that the roads just get so eroded that there's not even scooter access up here anymore. So because there's no access on the roads, these places just get left abandoned. And they're everywhere. I found heaps of them. <laughs> Check out our last video up here. The coolest one on top of a mountain in an avatar setting. It was just crazy. Check it out. Okay, an awareness section of my videos is always something that I like to include. So this one is just about how long it takes for stuff to regenerate and grow, regrow naturally. So here I am on this man-made weir and then clearly it was dug out of this beautiful forest. There's a section, all of this area and over here was cleared. So of course there is native natural regeneration but just look at this section after however old this weir is 50 plus years it's still just like this you can clearly see the section that they cut up to so even just natural regeneration of a forest just takes so long and we're able to clear it so quickly so there's my little bit of just 
be aware of your surroundings, understand the damage that we're having and inflicting on the environment and how precious it is and how hard it is for it to recover naturally as well and why it's important to support reforestation projects. Spill over, let's keep going. Ooh, prickly bastard, how dare you. Yeah, so I don't think that people are coming through this way that much. So it's possibly I'm doing a thing that sheep do, which is just follow tracks. So I'm actually gonna go back. Ugh, I already come through here and I don't feel that was the way. I must have missed the, the viewpoint at some point, but that doesn't matter because I have a whole other section of the island that I want to go and check out. So let's, let's shoot on back, get on the scooter, catch my breath, and uh, next destination, here we come. Okay, so I was riding along and my curiosity got the better of me. This place here is clearly being locked up and left totally preserved in inside for I'd say at least 30 years and just this beautiful little surroundings in the middle of the jungle and get a load of this amazing little pavilion just tucked in there with this incredible view and into the jungle I couldn't help but come in here and just look at the way that nature is taking back over this place uh, it's just a beautiful thing to see what a beautiful spot I do love here how they will, uh, like special trees, they really think of them as special, that's for sure, enshrine them. Big, beautiful strangler fig. I'll pray to that, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I ended up at the beach, and that wasn't really the intention. So. I'll take it. I will take it. I think I'm meant to be somewhere up there. But yeah, that looks like a person on top of a viewpoint. That is where I'm going. But hey, a little stop off at the beach. Kiki <laughs> ki. And a little can't help it. It's an ongoing theme of my videos. This one I'm gonna do it twice. Oh wash my footsies. Oh man, that is the good stuff right there. Woo hee! Check out that water. All right, viewpoint, that's what I was after. Not quite sure how far I'm gonna get on the scooter. I feel like this is, well, it's definitely not gonna get any further. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm walking. Yes, I was probably not going to be bringing the scooter through here, but I thought I could avoid some uh, some supreme uphill climbing because yeah, uh, yeah, I know what's ahead of me. I can see how high it is, so. Oh, and it's gonna be like this the whole way. Oh, I did not prepare for this. I'm already very sweaty again. And I'm going up there behind those trees. So. another way to get here, an easier route that wasn't completely uphill, but oh, that's all right, it was worth it. Let's, let's go out there, eh? goodness just remember don't be one of those people that falls off a cliff while taking a selfie <laughs> wouldn't that be crazy oh my goodness what a spot to end up oh it's beautiful I want to cry but this isn't the end of things today because I'm gonna to go into a place just like that down there because I want to go snorkeling 
Oh, it's been so long. So let's go swim with the fishes for a while and it'll be a lovely way to end off this incredible day. But all I just wanted to show you how easy it is. It's taken me three hours to have all of this crazy adventure. What, <laughs> what a mental day. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, now I just have to find the courage within my knees <laughs> to go back that way. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was good fun. Love a little bit of an adrenaline rush like that out there. Mostly did it to myself by tripping myself out with the camera. <laughs> of clarity so I'm not going to be able to show you much but oh what a cool spot huh?